All right. Um, <clears throat> good evening. Uh, or is this still afternoon? It's evening. Good evening. Um, my name already has been said to be Fester Lako. I, I will talk briefly about, I'll talk a bit about politics, and then I'll pull the imaginary cap of politics aside, and then I would... Um, take my entertainment cap and wear it so we can just have fun. Um, so the, so and then we'll take some testimonies from people, right? So but the brief thing I have to say about uh, politics is that, you see, the politicians have been successful enough to create an imaginary um, um, stature of larger than life images in our head. So when we hear or see politicians, the, we, we just switch something in our mind and it becomes to, and we begin to think that these people are actually bigger than what they are. And it's because of the way they've made this whole politics thing look. So I am contesting for Federal House of Rep. Yes, Federal House of Representatives. And I am not contesting in a small local government, in Alimosh or the biggest local government in Lagos and virtually maybe in Nigeria. And one of these days, because what I'm doing now is to network, expand the, uh, the grassroots and all. So one of the days we went out and we were talking, my colleagues were talking to some people about me and then one of them said, uh, okay, this one, uh, and I don't bring this one now. Uh, he himself go enter now. We no go see him. He no even come out, come talk to us. And the person I was talking to, the lady said, hold on. And he just called me, please come. And then I came there and I was like, hi, good afternoon. My name is Ife Salako. I'm going for federal survey. I was like, ah, ah. Now you, now you, so we had a small um, pamphlet, so just like a card. And they're like, ah, now you be this. Now you, they come out. You, they campaign yourself. You, they talk to people yourself. Not be so politicians, they do now. So I said to her, I said, well, this is me. And ironically, I'm not that kind of politician that you think. So we're starting a new revolution in politics. And please look at me very well. I am going to win this mandate. <laughs> because when we talk about these things, people think that if you are not, and of course, I'm not running under the known party. I'm running under the party known as Young Progressive Party, YPP. That's what it's called, Young Progressive Party. And of course, because of that antecedent, one, I've not been in politics forever. Secondly, I'm running under a relatively known party. Thirdly, I'm running in a very big local government. And fourth, all, the, all these things are my crime. Oh, and number four crime, I am going for Federal House of Rep. What audacity. And then they will say, no now, why don't you go and start as council law? Or you start as local government, technical, then you now see... See, all of these are mundane lies that the politicians have told you know, themselves and use that to you know, reduce what we could do and what we could, we could achieve as young people. You know? So even all these places that they tell you to go to, they have the son of Bale, the daughter of Yaloja, the son of the one that is contesting, that is already there now that is waiting to go. So when you get there, no matter how brilliant, no matter how exceptional, no matter how compassionate you are about the country, they will tell you to go and wait for these people who have nothing, literally nothing to offer themselves, not to even talk of the nation. So, I'll just wrap it up with this. Please, if you're not politically active. And when I say this, I am not saying that you should go to join any party. 
But if you're not politically active, you don't have your PVC, you're not looking out to the candidates who are coming out to know their manifestos, to know who, is, who the right person is to vote for. If you're not politically active, you're an enemy of your nation. Because what it means is that politics determines everything that happens in our nation, including the spiritual life. When COVID came out, the politician said all of us should close the churches and the mosque. We went back home. We couldn't open our churches. We couldn't open the mosque. Politics would determine everything. Before we were giving birth to, politics has determined the hospital we will be giving birth to, whether it is private or, uh, uh, or public. Politics determines everything. So if we are not politically active, and again, not for us to necessarily become politicians, but at least to look out for what we can do politically, then we are enemy of the nation. We do not want progress for our nation. Because if we don't do politics, politics will do us. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, having done that, that's not about politics. Now, let me also say that I've worked on radio for 11 years as a radio presenter on Nigeria FM, which is where the name Effective came from. They used to call me Effective Baba on radio on Nigeria FM 102.7. I resigned last year, September. So I'm pretty much into the oratory and, you know, public speaking and... Uh, uh, MC and all. So my boss here has decided today to put me in front of you know you honorable men and women and of course I'm going to be here for a while. So I may a bit not even a bit I may slightly you know play off and then you're like ah uh she but that politician you know losing she right it's still me you know but that's what I'll be doing in the next few hours. And I will take it on from there. He has said that we have a play presentation is coming up. Uh, we have the live band. And of course, we have quite a number of things. But before we go for that, uh, this is Money Makers Dinner. And I saw when he asked people who make money, and some of us, quite a number of us, raised up our hands. Uh, money making is, is the best thing that can happen to anybody. Once you start making money, your, your life will change. I can tell you categorically that a few years down the line, when I was not making money, I wasn't looking this good. Though. <laughs> I saw one of my throwback pictures. Only me, I was scared. I was like, Jesus. Now maybe this. You know, and because... You know, for God's grace and for hard work and for commitment, you know, we've been able to get a few cover here and there, and it's helping us. So, we want to talk about money making and the testimonies of people that are here. You know, um, how has this um, network, how has this program that you've been part of, how has it changed our lives? I'd like to hear from a few of us um, where you were before, where you are now, where you hope to get to. Because as human, they say the only constant thing in life is what? Is what? Is what? But <laughs> maybe not the APC kind. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's on the other side. But then, I mean, of course, we all know what the chain mantra was at some point in time and what it is now. Nigerians don't want to hear. If you say change, you know, I beg, I beg, not, eh? <laughs> but we will have to change. Things change. We will change. A few, a few, some minutes ago, this hall was not looking like this. A change happened. And it's looking the way it is now. So, Change is a constant thing in life. So 
So let's let's talk. Um, let's relate. It's a very relaxing mood. Let's not, uh, you know, let's not be too rigid, you know. Um, so if I may start with you, bros. Hey, hey, hey! Don't go yet. Thank you for watching our video, and please and please join us in kicking out poverty in our societies. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to our TV channel. And please do deem it through by leaving a comment in the comment section. Thank you and God bless you. Poverty Fighters TV, we create wealth.